Welcome you to lecture 4 and in lecture 4 of our course on basic research methods we shall be looking at research methodologies. Research methods are the strategies, processes or techniques utilized in the collection of data or evidence for analysis in order to uncover new information or create better understanding of a topic. There are of course different types of research methods which use different tools for data collection. So I want us to look at the types of research methods that we have. So the research methods are summarized as follows. One is the basic research. A basic research definition is data collected to enhance knowledge. The main motivation here is knowledge expansion. Applied research. Applied research focuses on analyzing and solving real life problems. This type refers to the study that helps solve practical problems using scientific methods. That is known as applied research. We also have what we call problem oriented research, which is conducted to understand the exact nature of a problem to find out relevant solutions. The next one is what we call problem solving research. In problem solving research, this is conducted by companies to understand and solve their own problems. We also have what we call qualitative research. And qualitative research is a process that is about inquiry. It helps in-depth understanding of problems or issues in their natural settings. This is a non-statistical method. In qualitative research, they use the following methods to, to do or conduct their research. One is the one-to-one -one interview, two focus groups, three ethnographic research, four content stroke text analysis, five case study research, among others. The next type of research we are calling it quantitative research. A quantitative research is a structured way of collecting data and analyzing it to draw conclusions. Unlike qualitative this method uses a computational and statistical process to collect and analyze data. This method uses a closed-ended questions because the researchers are typically looking together statistical data. They use the following uh, methods to collect their own data, which includes online surveys, questionnaires, polls, among, among others. Now, I want now to look at the types of quali quantitative research. And as we have just seen, survey research is one of the type of quantitative research. In survey research, this is the most fundamental tool for all quantitative outcome research methodologies and studies. Surveys use, are used to ask questions to a sample of respondents using various types, such as online polls, online surveys, paper questionnaires, web intercept surveys, among many others. We also have what we call cross-sectional surveys. Cross-sectional surveys are observational surveys conducted in situations where the researcher intends to collect data from a sample of the target population at a given point in time. Longitudinal surveys. Longitudinal surveys are also observational surveys. But unlike cross-sectional surveys, longitudinal surveys are conducted across various time, various time durations to observe a change in respondent behavior 
untold profits. The other one is correlational research. A this is a comparison between two entities. In correlational research, it is conducted to establish a relationship between two closely knit entities and now one impacts the other. And what are the changes that are eventually observed? The other one type is causal comparative research. This research method mainly depends on the factor of comparison. It is also called quasi-experimental research. This quantitative research method is used by researchers to conclude the cause effect equation between two or more variables where one variable is dependent on the other independent variable. We also have experimental research. Experimental research, as the name actually suggests, is usually based on one or one. It is based on one or more theories. It is based, it is called true experimental or true experimentation. It uses the, the scientific methods to establish the cause effect relationship among a group of variables that makes up a study. Now, I want us to look at the characteristics of quantitative research. In quantitative research, the data is usually catered using structured research instruments. Number two, the results are based on larger sample sets that are representative of the population. Three, the research study can usually be replicated or repeated given its high reliability. Three, the researcher has a clearly defined research questions to which objectives are sought. Four, five, all aspects of the study are carefully designed before data is collected. Six, data are in the form of numbers and statistics, often arranged in tables, charts, figures, or other non Textual four. Seven projects can be used to generalize concepts more widely, predict future results, or investigate causal relationships. And lastly, research uses tools such as questionnaires or computer software to collect numerical data. Now let's turn to qualitative research. What are the characteristics of qualitative research? One, the findings are charged by whether they make sense and are consistent with the collected data. Two, results are validated externally by how well they might be applicable to other situations. This is so rich, detailed descriptions can help to foster external validity. Three, data is usually collected from small, specific, and non-random samples. Five, it is personal and contains very little scientific terminologies. Six, it is carried out in a natural setting. Seven, it is expressed in words. And it is used to understand concepts, thoughts, or experiences. So that marks the end of this lecture number four on research methodologies. I want to encourage the students to interact with the lecture notes, which are also attached to this course, and also interact with the videos that are provided. Thank you very much, and I wish you.